Hello, and welcome to, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more TCG card shop simulator. <laughs> oh, this game. Uh, so, uh, we've made some progress. We're up to level 16 now. Uh, we have, uh, I have a couple of shelves that I bought. I have some storage. I have uh, two employees now. Uh, so this is our new cashier. I don't know why you don't know why you forgot you're a cashier, but uh, go cashier. Where's your where's your friend at? So these things are okay. Those are both full. Yeah, you. I don't know why you're just standing around too. You go restock shelves. Go do things. Uh, so we have a couple of things here. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's too pricey or not. Like you don't have employee or uh, customer reviews yet. I don't really care. <laughs> uh, ex everything's expensive. This card. This card's still sitting here, seven hundred thirty dollars. It's gonna sit here until the end of time. It's fifty percent markup. I now it's just a, a question of if it's actually gonna ever sell. Um, I don't know if it will. I think that may be too much. Uh, because we literally put that in. We're on day forty-one now, and I want to say that was in really early in the in the game. Um, so now I do need. I do need a couple of boxes. I definitely need orange boxes. Uh, I could probably use a couple of blue boxes and a couple of purple boxes. Um, I think for the most part, most of the other things I have, I, orange freaking things, those are those are fine. We could probably get those too. Uh, I, would you get some more money for me, please? No, I need you to sell more things than $40 worth. $40 isn't enough. <laughs> Just two packs. Really? You come in here and bought two packs of cards. Get out. These guys, these guys are lucky I don't have a bat. That's all I'm going to say. No, we already had those. Oh, he was putting these down here. Okay. All right. So now the good news is we have the, the stuff on the shelves. So he will kind of put stuff back on the shelves. Uh, and then that kind of uh, makes it a little bit easier. Kind of keeps the place cleaned up a little bit better. We are not selling enough things. $78, that's a little bit better. Um, I definitely need... I don't think I have enough to be able to get... Yeah, I uh, maybe a couple of those. We're at $259 already. Um, kind of need to get two boxes of that one too. See if we can wait a minute. So we need five hundred and thirty eight dollars. We can get about five hundred and fifty bucks. We'll order all of those. Oh look, haha! Uh, like I like how they're all they get sprayed by. Fragrance and they all start swatting flies. Not a bad price, really. And and the funny part is, is everything over here is like twenty percent over. Like I, I everything's twenty percent over. Uh, let's see, the cards are all good. I think for the most part, we're we're just kind of into more of a maintaining. Now we do lose a lot of money, uh, because of the employees and and the uh. Like, I haven't started increasing the size of the building yet. Uh, that's probably the next thing to start doing. So, two days, we're at $1,200. I'll do in two days, okay. Um, so, yeah, so it's $1,200, and we're doing two days. Like, that's that's going to be, that one's going to be painful. Going to be painful. Try to get some of our stuff up here. Come on. Okay, so that guy's okay. There you go. So we're at we have enough money now. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. We'll go into here, go ahead and purchase these guys, and then we're just gonna kind of watch this this poor schmuck have to go. I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help him. We'll help him stock. 
because I I need I need cards on the I need cards on the shelf. Because if I don't have cards on the shelf, you can't buy them. That's really really the trick here is if I don't have stuff out, uh, we can't sell it. So I try to keep everything that we have on the shelf, at least something loaded. And then he's just he is just so slow. You do he's they're it's so slow. Yeah. And then it's great fun too. Watch him uh, because he'll if he runs out of things to do, he'll walk out here and he'll just stand here and just stare at the street. Like, what are you doing, my friend? Put that there. And then, unfortunately, because the way the, the storage boxes work, if he has, um, like, this has already been used for those orange things at some point, right? So now, like, you have to basically, he won't change them. He can only put that stuff there. So eventually, we'll have all the stuff sat, kind of sorted out, and he'll be able to figure out how to put things. Uh, and everything will have a spot. But if you leave him a spare a spare spot long too long, He'll just be like, oh, okay, well, let me just grab some random item and just stuff it in there. And you're like, dude, what are you doing? Let's see, let's just do that. Uh, we'll add, add that to cart. $73. All right, so those are good. Get these things up here. Make sure we have those up. Throw that over there. What what are you? Oh, you're you're smelly stuff. All right, you can stay there. It was better than originally. I just literally had this whole box, <laughs> just this corner, this corner of just just stuff. Uh, and then why don't you go over to the other side and buy the expensive card? I would lower that card, these two cards down, because honestly, if I basically sold these two cards, uh, if I lowered them down to forty percent, they'd probably sell faster. But now it's the principle of the whole thing to find out if 50% is just too much. Because if I leave it there long enough, it, is it just the longer or the higher I raise it? So if I raise something to like 2,000%, is it will it eventually sell? Like, who knows? If I if I have like a, a $1 card and I sit over there for $1,000, will somebody eventually buy it? All right, now the other thing we need to do too here is see my DIY. So we have the air freshener. So we have the workbench. It's a thousand dollars. Uh, the double sided shelf, seven fifty. Uh, I've been I bought two of these big warehouse shelves. I'm probably gonna buy another one when I can. Um, and then what's this thing? Uh, Auto sent one thousand. It's four thousand dollars. Uh, so, but I want to get, I want to get this workbench. I think that's really what I want to do next. Oh, got to turn the lights on. It's dark in here. They can't see. All right. Anybody, anybody. All right. So, uh, we need orange cards. Uh, that looks like what we need next. Orange cards. Yep, let's do that. All right, so that should get us those two out. I just, like, pretty much want to try to keep, I like, not completely full. Like, it's okay if I have, like, a little bit. Like, I probably need to get, oh, I need to get more of the flaming pig things, too. <clears throat> if we can afford them. Those things are expensive. Uh, but it's, like, $135, but they sell for, like, $20 a piece. So, yeah, I, I like to buy those. So we got uh, 135, so we're probably at 140. May have enough. <laughs> Will it let me do it? Not enough money. I'm 11 cents short. 
Just shortchange somebody. You'll be fine. Come on. Come on, pop up. Show me. Give me my 11 cents. Hi. Mm. Wait. 11 cents faster. What are you doing? Go oh, here. Be like. Tell me I'll leave. What are you doing? Not you. You go buy something. Oh, you're going to sit down and play cards instead? Jerk. It's this this motion here where they hold the cards to their heads. They're like, oh my God, their life is so horrible. I did I did pull up uh, one of the tables out uh, just because I just, I wanted to put these guys in. And I'm going to put another one of these in. Uh, the other issue is, is I don't think I can actually put the workbench in because I don't think I have enough room for it. Probably going to have to open this section up so I even have enough room for the, the workbench. Anybody? Still. All right, so you're going to buy something. What are you going to buy? All right. But you buy, buy things faster. Oh, he bought a rare card box too. Oh, nice. All right, there you go. Now we now we can buy buy these guys. Go we'll get the plushies. Here, hold that for me. Why didn't you hold it? All right. Card sleeves fire. All right. So for the most part, we're kind of kind of slowing down uh, with the amount of stuff we have. Uh, we're going to. The problem is, is I need to save up enough money to pay for our rent. Um, over the next day or two. So I'm probably just going to keep this, the shelves stocked. Uh, and just kind of stock the shelf for what I need. And it helps every once in a while to kind of go through here to uh, just market price and then go up by 20 again. Unfortunately, uh, sometimes the, they'll lower, which is not helpful. Uh, but it seems about 20% they're okay with. If we go kind of above that, uh, they start getting angry. Um, so what I do is I just kind of go through here, like the, and the card pack sleeves, like these things are like, it's like $2, like granted, it's, it's a big profit margin on them, but I can make, I can make a lot more. Now these, not these, these, these suck too. These guys, so $62 every time I sell one of those books. And we sold a, a bunch of them right when we first started. Right when I first put them in. Everybody wanted those books. Yeah, so some of these are going up a little bit. Some of them are going down a little bit. But in the ones that are going down, like it, it helps because that way people don't complain as much. Uh, the ones that are going up though it helps us because uh people don't complain as much and then it still gives us uh more, it gives us more money because it, we it doesn't change the cost that we pay for it it changes the cost of how much they pay for it Does that makes sense because our our costs are kind of fixed Uh, is it nine o'clock? It's nine o'clock. Put those on there. Uh, for the most part, we're all, we're all stacked up. Uh, we need, probably could use some more of these weird penguin looking things. We could use some more orange boxes. Uh eh, not not super crazy. What are you? Why are you still sat out here? Is 
that there. I'll be all right. Do, 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 do. All right, everybody's done. Let's go the next day. Nobody bought any cards. I think they're they're tired they're tired of my profiteering. <laughs> oh, I think the cheapest cards I have over here are marked up marked up like thirty percent. And most of them are marked. Like the fifty dollar ones are like marked up forty percent. <laughs> I, I, I'm fine with it. Like, it is what it is. Because if not, I'm just going to be burning through and I'll just be opening packs trying to get stuff. Even though I think that is ultimately the probably the best way to do it uh, to make a large amount of money is just to open packs until you find the rare cards. And obviously, the more rare cards you open, uh, the better off you are. Uh, okay, why are you... I wish I could fire these guys. I guess I can't fire them. The problem is, is if I fire one of them, then I just have to spend uh, $500 to freaking hire the jerk back. Because it's not like I get... Where's he at? Like, I don't want to count this guy's change. You get in here and count the change for me. There you go. Good job. All right. Eventually, we'll move all these. I want to move the storage over to the other building, but it's going to cost me five grand to open that one. So I don't know if that's going to be opening anytime soon. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. And everything in this game is so expensive. Like I don't I don't think like like the expansion, like we could probably get away with a little bit of that stuff. Uh but you know, just to open the first like row, you know, you're you're already almost eighteen hundred dollars, almost two thousand dollars. And that causes your rent to go up too. So that's not that's not helpful. I almost wonder if it'd be worth just saving up to five grand and just opening the other door. I'm pretty sure this is the, the our other building over here. Even though it is kind of smaller. Maybe maybe that's what I'll do. As I'll start working towards saving the five thousand dollars to uh to open that other door. Uh and then that that will allow us to kind of uh, move our storage in our our stocking room over there, maybe. Um, and then kind of leave this room over here just for being able to put things in. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just watching these dudes work. I'm fine with it. Fine with it. All right, I'll be back uh, once I figure out something more fun to do. And I'm back. All right, uh, so I've got this guy's coming in. Uh, they're buying some more stuff. I kind of keep, keep the shelves kind of stocked. Uh, we're at, where are my bills at? Uh, late by one day. Uh, we'll be okay. I'm I'm making eight nine hundred dollars a day right now. Uh, what I want to do is see if I can get. Uh, I'm sure this is going to end badly. Uh, but I'm gonna buy this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna purchase it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can actually put it in here. Um. If I move the air freshener. I don't know if I can get the air freshener kind of moved. So I'm going to put that back in a box. I'm going to throw it out here. And then I'm going to take my air freshener, move it. I just <laughs> put it both right, by the, right in front of the door. There. 
So we'll put the air freshener there. We'll put that guy right there. <laughs> All right. So I want to see what this thing does. Uh, so let's see. Card expansion. Uh, so bundle cards. So we want to go. Okay. So Tetrama base. Any rarity. Common. Oh, okay. So below. Okay. So maximum cards. Minimum card to remain. So I do this to go any rarity. And I basically can drop this to 50 cents. So anything that's under 50 cents. We're just going to bundle all of them together. 100 card, low value cards from album and bundle them in the card box. Okay. So problem is, is I don't know if I have. Don't really have a place to put these. Do this. Putting green cards there. So let me do this. I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. Tetram base. Oh, okay. So any rarity. Uh, bundle cards. No space to put the box after bundling. Um. Okay. Where am I supposed to be able to put the box at? Put in my hand. Uh, I throw it on the floor. Uh, let's see. Well, that's not awesome. Let's see. I have. Can I remove the dice thing? Move this one. I can't, I can't clear this. Um, it'd be nice if I could clear the thing off of the shelf. Uh, but that's not awesome. Put another card out. Market price. 30%. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so you can't clear a shelf. So I'd have to have an empty shelf, but the problem is, is if you have a stalker, he's going to basically just dump things on the shelf until they're full anyway. So... Um, I says you don't have a hundred cards. Well, that's not helpful. I spent a lot of money on that thing for it to be useless. Um, luckily we are back up to $1,200. Uh, if I did. Do. This guy back to shop a, we'll do this guy like this. And then once we get a little bit more money. So, uh, just I need just a little bit more monies. Somebody make somebody make a purchase. You guys aren't making a purchase. My stuff's too expensive for you. I like how they just face through things. It's great. Oh, I need I need nineteen more cents. What is it with me needing like nineteen more cents or eleven more cents or always always come on? I want to. I could buy a a cheap one. Uh, cause there's like a $500 rack, but I'm not going to buy a $500 rack. I'm going to buy the thousand dollar one, uh, because it gives me more storage spots. Come on. Use more racks. You're just going to walk around and, oh yeah, walk around and re manually pull cards out your butt. Got it. All right. Nope. Just going to look at it. 
733 bucks. Yeah, it's been that way since I opened the shop, dude. That's what I'm drawing people in with. I'm like, I got a $733 card. And then people come in and look at it and go, what? That's like a $400 card. I'm like, ha ha, sucker. All right, uh, $42. All right, so I do this. We'll go here. I'll go down to this guy. And we'll buy another one of these. Go out here. We'll grab this guy. Go back in. <laughs> I can't even walk by it. Oh, talking about stuff in 10 pounds of crap in a five pound box. All right, now let's try this again. Let's see, bundle. No space to put the box after bundling. Well, mm -mm. what is that whole shelf of, of bundling goodness over there? Go ahead. Just we'll open this box. Okay. Bundle cards. So I need to have a, a spare box laying around. Yeah, so so I need to have a spare box. So I would I would think honestly the dev if it doesn't have if I don't have a spare box laying around then maybe set it up so that we can have like it it generates a box like why are we why are we trying to generate a box? Like that makes no sense to me. Like why are why are we making people not be able to, to uh cover some of our money from that. So yeah, so you end, end up needing to have a box to be able to do it. Um, I, it's kind of a weird thing. So not enough cards to make, which which I can I can definitely feel. We'll put those in there. All right. I I doubt those are going to sell anytime soon, but we'll have them. So, uh, so all right. So we got the box bundling working. Uh, we've got, you know, the store's making some money. Uh, we're going to obviously be uh, hurting here. Oh, my Lord. It's going to take me two days to, to work that off. Um, I'm going to need to pay down some of these things. I need to probably make it where I'm not paying all these things at the same time. I may end up having to break down and, and lower my price on these guys just so I can sell them. But where's the fun in that? The stocking boys just standing outside, staring at the street. So, as always, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Uh, we've got our new little table. We got some. We got some storage. We have lots of stuff here to kind of, kind of uh, be able to sell, uh, and should be able to to be far enough ahead of the system to be able to at least pay for our rent this month or this week. 
Um, I still think the prices in this game, like you're making enough money to where you're progressing, but it's this weird, like needing to open things at all being extremely expensive. Uh, Cause as you go in here and look like I have, I don't have those open yet. Right. So those are my booster packs. So I do have those guys open, which, but this, you know, it was like a thousand or $1,200 to open this box. Like, and when you really go and look at it, like $1,200 to be able to get the license for that box. And then I go and I'm buying the box. I, granted, I'm making $25 a box on those uh, and $10 a box on those. So $25 a box, yeah, you can make it back. But, like, it, you know, at the same time, you're still trying to do that stuff. You're trying to be able to pay for the your employees and keep stuff working and keeping the, the you know, synthesizers, you know, loaded. You know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a lot like, and then, you know, the whole cashier thing is, is a pain. Uh, God, it's so expensive. Everything is, it's fine, dude. This place is expensive to run. The sad part is, is if I lowered my prices just a little bit, um, I would actually be, I would probably make a lot more money uh, to be fair. Uh, but this way I don't have to stock things. Oh. <laughs> uh. And then, yeah, so we probably need some more purple ones. I need some more blue ones. So I'm going to do, before uh, it it messes me up, go ahead and add those to the cart. Uh, I'm going to add those to the cart. You know what? Let's go ahead and add these to the cart, too. Um, so we're, we're going to do that, and we're going to go ahead and get all those. That way we make sure we have plenty of cards to sell. Uh, so if they do take all my money away. Uh, which, you know, they're probably bill collectors. They're great. Uh, let's see. So the, the good news is, is you can make money back fairly quickly. But I think if you get to a point where you couldn't. Um, like if you didn't have enough stock over here. Uh, you you. You could hurt. You'd be hurting. Like people will still come in and play, and you can kind of get money from that. Uh, but it would it would definitely be uh wouldn't be fun. I'm trying to figure out how to put all these things back on here. And then uh, we did notice uh, in my travels, if you have like four boxes of uh, like the half boxes, they will still stack. Um, I don't know if I have one of these laying around over here somewhere. Oh, putting them there. You're fine, dude. Fine. Yeah, throw those over there. Those over there too. All right, let's get this guy out of here. What happens when you wait until the last minute to check out? Then you have to wait until I'm ready for you. You're out of here. All right. Uh, so we're at shop 16, almost up to level 17. Uh, we're on day 44. This is our uh, kind of our end game here. Uh, so earnings today. Uh, profit negative sixteen hundred dollars, um, probably because I spent a bunch of money on things I probably shouldn't have spent. Uh, being the the card box and the other things. So, uh, but at least then now we can start getting stuff open and uh, and get rid of some of the the lower end cards that we don't really need right now. Uh, so hopefully uh, you are enjoying this game. Uh, I I am. I'm having a good time with it. Uh, as always, if you enjoy the game. Uh, please uh, consider throwing a like on the video. If you have a question or comment or concern, you can leave that down below. And if you're not subscribed and you would like to be, there's a button for that too. Y'all be safe. Talk to y'all next time.